Before we get started, I have a quick favor. I've been self-funding the Finding Genius podcast for five years now. I've done over 3,000 episodes. And as you can see on YouTube, we're up over a million views on the channel, which is fantastic. The next thing I really want to push on is to get up to 10,000 subscribers. Because once we do, we'll be able to put a donate button and uh, we'll be able to solicit donations to help keep the podcast running and to also get the Finding Genius Foundation moving along. We have a big project studying anxiety, depression, and PTSD and working on a product to help people overcome these problems because I've seen them explode recently after the last two years of the whole virus situation. So if you would, please subscribe to the podcast. That would help us tremendously give us a thumbs up and check in the description for buy me a coffee it's about five bucks if you could buy me a coffee i'd really appreciate it It would help keep the channel going and i love coffee thank you forget frequently asked questions common sense common knowledge or google how about advice from a real genius 95 percent of people in any profession are good enough to be qualified and licensed five percent go above and beyond they become very good at what they do but only 0.1 percent a real Jesus. Richard Jacobs has made it his life's mission to find them for you. He hunts down and interviews geniuses in every field. Sleep science, cancer, stem cells, ketogenic diets, and more. Here come the geniuses. This is the Finding Genius Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Fighting Genius Podcast. My guest today is uh, Stephanie Moyal. She's a co-founder of Troop Nutrition, T-R-O-O-P. They make uh, functional mushrooms that have benefits for people consuming them in a gummy form. They were very gracious to send me a bottle to try out, you know, before this podcast. So I just wanted to dispose all of that. But uh, welcome, Stephanie. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Oh, good. Tell me a bit about uh, your background and how you came to co-found this company. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's interesting. My background is definitely not linear at all. I don't think any of my random career paths could have led me here. I never really knew what I wanted to do, honestly. And when COVID happened, I was working in hospitality and my cousin, who I'm very good friends with, he on the day of the first lockdown, he broke his leg and I lost my job because there was my, my hotels shut down. And yeah, he couldn't walk and need needed someone to help take care of him. So he had to move in with his parents and I offered to come help. And during that time, it was full on lockdown. Everyone was just watching Netflix and chilling. And after that got a little bit boring, I we started just trying to learn and educate ourselves and see what fascinated us and what inspired us. And I read this book called How to Change Your Mind. And I had just... Yes, exactly. And I felt like I had discovered this world that not very many people were talking about. And I started looking into functional mushrooms too, because that book really highlights psychedelic mushrooms. And I started looking into functional mushrooms and I was so fascinated. It was like this whole world of, of health and wellness and nature that people weren't talking about. So I turned to Jake, my cousin, and I said, do you want to start growing these mushrooms with me? And he said, yes. So we started growing lions vein and uh, really just became so obsessed with mushrooms and their health benefits and wanted to share it with our community and we looked around at what was available and everything was powders and tinctures and capsules and we wanted to make something that would be fun to take something that we wanted to take and Jake had the idea of making gummies so we started making gummies and giving them to our friends and family and when people were telling us the amazing health benefits and how this was changing their lives we decided to make it into a company and share it with more people. What did you do at first? You say your lion's mane, did you just like saute up some lion's mane and eat it? Yeah. Or like, what did you do? Yeah, we would totally do that. We worked with a mycologist who would help make extracts and things like that. And we were just really experimenting with growing techniques and all that kind of stuff. What did you notice? Uh, you know, maybe you had taken products from the store before, like tinctures or pills, but your own homegrown stuff, like, uh, you know, what did you notice? Was it a lot more powerful? Yeah, totally. So it was definitely more powerful. And we realized that so we learned as you're growing the mushrooms, you're learning so much about them. And we were using the fruiting body when we were experimenting. And a lot of companies don't use the fruiting body. They use the mycelium. And when you are growing the mushrooms, so when you're outside of nature i mean in nature too but when you're outside of nature mushroom the mycelium needs some food to grow on and in nature it's the soil but here you do kind of like a rice or a grain or something like that 
and for most mushrooms. And when you're looking at the mycelium eating this substrate, this grain, you're seeing how much grain is actually in there. It's it's so starch heavy. And a lot of companies out there are taking this starch and mycelium mixture and they're packaging up and selling it as a mushroom product. And when you see how much starch goes in there, you really realize, wow, you're really not getting so many of these benefits. And I, I want to backtrack a little bit because I kind of just jumped into that concept and a lot of people aren't familiar. So when it comes to mushrooms, there's the fruiting body, which is the part of the mushroom that grows above the ground. And then there's the mycelium, which is this underground root structure of the mushroom. And the fruiting body is where the majority of the bioavailable compounds are held. And then the mycelium, while it has benefits, it gets really diluted by all of this starch. So that was also one of the reasons why ours were so much more powerful was because we were using the fruiting body of the mushroom. Well, the name holds a clue. Like, you know, look at a peach tree. I'm not just going to bite into the bark or eat a branch. Right. The fruit. Right. The all, exactly you know, the nutrients and you know the new hope for the plant and the seeds and all that go into the fruiting body so it makes sense why it's called a fruiting body so the mushroom it makes sense it would contain a lot of the good stuff exactly yes so that was really interesting and when you see it with your eyes you're just kind of like wow that's it's I, I'm a visual person so it was really interesting to watch that process and just be like duh like I'm not going to be using this to formulate my product I'm going to be using the fruiting body where all the good stuff is so that was really cool and and also growing your own food and growing your own just anything is is a really interesting experience I had never really done it before and you just connect to what you're growing and you learn so much about it and there's so many just you know you mess up so many times and it's humbling and it's just it's a really interesting experience just that whole thing in general so again what did you grow and what are the uh, effects you experienced you know maybe you start with the lion's mane yeah so lion's mane is really great for focusing so we would take it and just feel this kind of brain buzz and that's how we market our lion's mane product now is your daily brain buzz you feel just focused and it's very light it's not gonna be like an adderall that really rocks your world and doesn't make you feel great this is just a very sustained light buzz that helps you focus and stay clear and that's that's what I loved like I could wake up take that feel sharp and Jake what he loved about it was he has really bad ADD and he would suffer from a lot of brain fog and this helped him clear his brain fog so that was really cool to see and another behind the scenes benefit is that we were taking it for me specifically we have dementia in our family and lion's mane is amazing for your brain and helping slow cognitive decline so that was one of the reasons why we started growing lion's mane in the first place was because of all of these benefits for your brain. So that was our first mushroom we grew. And then we went into reishi. Reishi is one of the most researched mushrooms, one of my favorite mushrooms. She's the queen of mushrooms. And I loved taking reishi during the pandemic because I was jobless and pretty much homeless, even though my aunt and uncle took me in, which is very nice. I still couldn't really afford my own home. And there's a lot of stressors in that and not knowing what you're going to do with your life and just a lot of anxiety that comes with all of that and reishi really helps regulate your nervous system and so it would help me just regulate my stressors and I still take reishi in the morning because it helps me and it helps my body just regulate my stress levels so that one was I heard about turkey tail I mean what are the other ones that you grow that you've seen are, are really interesting yeah so we don't grow these ones but we use them we work with a farmer and he does all of the growing for us now except for our chicken is wild and sustainably cultivated. So we still work with lion's mane and reishi and our mushroom grower also grows. So lion's mane, reishi, chaga, which is the sustainably harvested in Alaska. And then maitake, cordyceps, and turkey tail. So those are the six mushrooms that we work with. Did you brush some cordyceps, uh, you know, uh, dust into uh, Jake's hair and let it grow out of his head? He grows out of it. <laughs> so, yes, that's very the last of us. I feel like you're channeling that, that show. They really went all out with that yeah so cordyceps it doesn't always have to come from the caterpillar ours are actually vegan so no animals are harmed in our process but cordyceps is actually a really cool and interesting mushroom because it helps with stamina and it's really great for athletes and recovery and oxygenation of the blood it's also really good for your libido and your sex drive you'll see cordyceps in a lot of sexual wellness products and a lot of 
pre-workout, post-workout products too. Yeah, it's a really cool one. It's definitely gaining more attention and it looks like a, a Cheeto, like a Cheeto chip. It looks like that's, it's an interesting, interesting one. And then- You don't um, make like fire hot cordyceps like Cheetos. Honestly, not a bad idea. You just dehydrate them and you sell them as chips. Not, no, honestly. <laughs> a healthier okay. version of a Cheeto. Yeah, and then you have, I talked a little bit about chaga. So chaga, we wild harvest in Alaska. It's an, also an amazing mushroom. It is one of the highest, it contains one of the highest sources of antioxidants out of any food or any plant or fungi. And uh, it's also really great just for healthy cellular turnover and for your immune system. It's incredible for immune system. And then we work with turkey tail, which is another mushroom that is just phenomenal for your immune system. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Fantastic Fungi. Yeah. 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 It's called the the time lapse of things going, coming out of the soil weird oh yeah that movie was so impeccably filmed and the visuals are so stimulating before we continue i've been personally funding the finding genius podcast for four and a half years now which has led to 2700 plus interviews of clinicians researchers scientists ceos and other amazing people who are working to advance science and improve our lives in our world even though this podcast gets 100,000 plus downloads a month we need your help to reach hundreds of thousands more worldwide Please visit FindingGeniusPodcast.com and click on Support Us. We have three levels of membership from $10 to $49 a month, including perks such as the ability to see ahead in our interview calendar and ask questions of upcoming guests, transcripts of podcasts you're interested in, the ability to request specific topics or guests, and more. Visit FindingGeniusPodcast.com and click Support Us today. Now, back to the show. Have you guys uh, interacted with Paul Stamets? Because, um, you know, he's huge, obviously, in this world. And, uh, you know, he talked about his mother was 80-something. And exactly. he gave her about the turkey tail and all this other stuff to help her with her conditions. I don't know if you've spoken to him. Exactly. No, that was the, the story I was going to reference. No, we haven't actually crossed paths with him we would love to i mean he is really such a pioneer in the space and i think that a lot of the mushroom movement and how fast it's grown and the attention that's come to it i think we can attribute a lot of that to paul samets for being such a pioneer and being in this for so long he's been doing this since the 90s and he's been really advocating for mushrooms since then so he is such a huge reason that we are in this in this industry as well so yeah hopefully hopefully one day we will cross paths with him and and he's kind of like a, you know, it's he's someone we look up to. It'd be really cool to to meet him one day. The mushroom celebrity. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, those are the mushrooms that we work with, those six. And we definitely plan to continue to work with more mushrooms. More more and more mushrooms are being studied every day. More mushrooms are actually being discovered every day. So we feel like when it comes to the mushroom industry, we're just kind of at the tip of the iceberg. And there's so much opportunity here. And it's just such an exciting industry to be a part of because we're so passionate about it. And also, we get to help people. People tell us all the time how this has helped them with their sleep, with their focus with their memory and you know the list goes on and people give them to their kids so their kids don't have to take ADHD medication and when you combine that with passion something that you're passionate about you just kind of feel like you've hit the jackpot. Do you sell individual mushrooms? Do you sell certain blends you know for like a focus blend uh, you know a sleep blend uh, you know you combine them with melatonin and things like that or like how do you specifically? Not yet so we have three products we have a lion's mane we have a reishi and then we have a six mushroom blend that we call the turkey super troop and we would love to get into blend that's definitely something that we have on our radar for this year however right now we are solely mushroom based but that's not to say that we will be forever okay so what's the typical protocol like one gummy a day how long does it take for people to like what effects would they feel in the very beginning maybe nothing maybe after a few weeks of having it it takes like what what do you see as uh, people's experience yeah for sure so two gummies is a serving size for us and we created this product line and envisioned it to be taken in tandem so waking up and taking your lion's mane and then as a midday pick me up you take your super troop and at the end of your work day you take the reishi obviously people can do this however they want I take my reishi 
in the morning and sometimes at night. It's really just what feels good for you. And if you just want to take one product, of course, that's okay too. So that's how it was envisioned. And when it comes to feeling the mushrooms, so everyone is different. Let's take lion's mane, for example. I take lion's mane and I feel it right away. However, some people need a little bit more time, maybe a week or two to start feeling the benefits. And then what's great about mushrooms is the benefits stack up and compound over time. So the more you take it, the more you're going to feel it. Have you had someone like try to go crazy and eat a whole bottle? I have not had someone tell me that they did that. However, I would not surprise me because they are so delicious that I could definitely eat a, a full bottle. And mushrooms are safe and non-toxic, but it's it's like going out and buying a vitamin from the store. You're not going to, the point is not to take it, the whole thing in one sitting. That's not what we're going for here. <laughs> I wonder if, I don't know, this just came to mind. I know it's kind of, you know, like uh, pork rinds. What if you were able to get a bunch of different mushrooms and dry them out, maybe sprinkle some seasoning on them? and you make them like potato chips you know and you get like a a blend of three four five of them and then you are encouraged to just eat 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 you know all these different kinds of mushrooms as a snack a healthy one yeah actually there is a company that does that i am blinking on the name but one of the companies that we used to do events with they do that with shiitakes they dehydrate them it's like the little caps are in the bag and they season them with different seasonings and they're really good a lot of our mushrooms, though, like chaga and reishi, for instance, these aren't mushrooms that you want to snack on at all. They are so bitter. It's like bite and it would be like biting uh, a piece of a tree, for instance. You definitely would not want to do that. But other mushrooms like shiitake is a really amazing one to do that because it dehydrates so well and it it has a great texture when you do dehydrate it and when you season it, it's just so good. It has this umami flavor of the seasoning. It's delicious. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of products. I've seen, you know, chocolate bars. I've seen the tea. You make sure to... Yeah, absolutely. There's tons of teas out there for sure. There's teas, coffees. There's so many different ways to fit functional foods, functional mushrooms into your diet now. I, I really see a shift happening here where everything is better for you, which is awesome. If you want to have a cookie, you don't need to have a Chips Ahoy cookie. You can have a really delicious cookie that has benefits in it or that has nutrients in it or has better ingredients but we live in california so i think we're usually at the crux of all of these health food movements and everything but i definitely see a shift happening what about psychedelic mushrooms is that you know do you have to stay away from that because of all the legal consequences or you know you guys yeah yeah uh, we definitely have it on our radar we would love to get into it once the legal landscape permits it it's for sure something that we're going to be doing just right now we are holding off on it however psychedelic mushrooms are so incredible and have been life-changing for us and you know, I can speak to my own experience. They have been so instrumental and in, in my growth as a person and how I see the world and how I want to see myself. And I've had some really incredible life-changing experiences with them. And I'm such a huge supporter of them. Oh, very cool. Yeah. What's next? Is it uh, more distribution of the product? Are you, is it new product ideas? that you're looking to do like where are you going to take this yeah for sure so our goal right now is to get this in the hands of as many people as possible and we are currently scaling up right now we are mostly selling online and as we grow our online presence we will continue to grow our retail presence right now we are in some retailers in california and southern california like erewhon and bristol farms lawson's lazy acres and other smaller health food chains and we definitely hope to go national within a year or two. And before that, we'll just keep entering smaller market or small markets as we are right now, just pockets. And yeah, hopefully, you know, we would love to be in all the Whole Foods, all of the Target and Costco even one day, but we're just building up to that. And yeah, in terms of products, we would love to continue to do more mushroom products and then including some blends in there as well. And who knows, maybe one day we'll even veer out of gummies and do people some has asked me for capsules or other formats as well we could do coffee powders you know wherever the wind takes us but we definitely our goal is to be the household name of mushroom products we want to be trustworthy education forward and 
the leading company of functional mushroom products. Oh, one last thing. What about a mushroom coffee? I've had it a few times and it, it seems to have an effect. I feel like uh, better. It's hard to describe, but I just feel overall uh, more alert and better after I have mushroom coffee. Do you know what kind of mushrooms like people put in? I don't even know. I don't remember. Have you ever delved into that? Yeah. I mean, we've never delved into it for our own company, but I've for sure taken mushroom coffee. I love mushroom coffee. They usually will put cordyceps, lion's mane, reishi. Sometimes they put chaga. I don't really typically see anything other than that, but it's for sure possible. It's great because they put in these mushrooms that help regulate stress and the caffeine jitters and the caffeine anxiety so and then you have the mushrooms that also just help with sustained energy so you're basically evening out the negative effects of the caffeine while still getting coffee and the delicious taste of coffee so i have mushroom coffee all the time at my house i love it so i'm a huge proponent of it okay yeah well, uh, last question why is it called troop nutrition yeah troop means a group of mushrooms that grows together like how you would have a school of fish you have a troop of mushrooms and or a boy scout troop or something yeah, exactly. And we chose that name because community is at the essence of why we started our company and is at the core of everything we do. And our goal is to continue to support our community through functional mushrooms. Have you ever done a tasting like you do a dinner for friends and they come over and you give them a whole bunch of mushroom products? You know, that's not psychedelics, but, you know, these other ones and see how they feel. You ever think about doing that? That's a cool idea. No, we, we gift a lot of products and stuff, but we've never had a dinner where we do it in that format that can be really fun you know or if you do like a tasting you know i mean yeah i guess you'd have to do a lot of them but that might be really cool yeah we do demos and things like that all the time where we'll be at the grocery store and people will try them and all of that it's a little challenging in the sense that it sometimes takes a little bit of time to feel it but yeah i mean the everyone loves the flavors and all of that stuff so and not in that way we definitely have done it anything special people should do like you know it's better to have these on an empty stomach or a pre-exercise or you know some of them for some reason i had this feeling like uh some of them you know you shouldn't take late evening because maybe they would keep you awake you know so what are what are some of these suggestions for when and how to take them yeah for sure i definitely want to take lion's mane or the super troop after the end of the day only because they do contain lion's mane and cordyceps which give you energy and focus so those ones i like to keep in the afternoon and in the morning Reishi, you can take whenever you want because it helps regulate your stress. And because it helps regulate your stress, it actually goes to the root cause of why you aren't sleeping and it helps you sleep. So it's not going to make you tired, but it just helps your body relax and be able to sleep. And people report and studies report much deeper sleep when taking reishi. So yeah, it's super interesting. And then when it comes to empty stomach or not, I I think that's a personal preference. I like to take mine on an empty stomach, but it's really, it's, it's however you like to do it. Okay. Yeah, and I wonder if there's certain foods that you can have with it that amplify the effects or reduce the effects or change them or modulate them. Yeah, that would be interesting. I don't know about foods. I know that a lot of these mushrooms, if you have a microdosing regimen, they're really good to pair with that. Lines made and ratio are really good to pair with that. But in terms of other foods, I don't know if there are any foods that heighten or or, or take away from it. I don't I don't think so though. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is a lot more to learn. So it's yeah. an interesting new feel, yeah. Well, excellent. Um where can people go to uh, to try out Troop's products? Yeah, www.trytroop.com, T-R-Y-T-R-O-O-P.com. And we created a discount code, Finding Genius 20 for any of your listeners who want to give us a shot. Oh, thank you. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, so Finding Genius 20 is the code? Yes. Okay, then it's no capitalization or anything? It's not case sensitive. Okay, so, yeah. excellent. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. It's, uh, I'm glad that there's there's people out, out there like you doing this instead of just producing endless drugs to drug us all into oblivion. So Exactly. Thank you. Always here to support that mission. Yeah, right on. If you like this podcast, please click the link in the description to subscribe and review us on iTunes. You've been listening to the Finding Genius Podcast with Richard Jacobs. If you like what you hear, be sure to review and subscribe to the Finding Genius Podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to podcasts. And want to be smarter than everybody else? Become a premium member at FindingGeniusPodcast.com. This podcast is for information only. No advice of any kind is being given. Any action you take or don't take as a result of listening is your sole responsibility. Consult professionals when advice is needed.